right guys uh, just a quick video here this is nothing specific in this one it's just a bit of a test drive after I've um, did that air conditioning hose check I put everything back together properly and uh, just to check the uh, the gauges as well because this is going to be the next thing on my hit list is to get the air fuel ratio sorted out because it is a bit rough at idle I know I've been saying that since the start of this project the delay has been getting cable uh, connectors for it I should say I'm gonna put um, a splice harness in between the sensor and the uh, loom but those connectors are an absolute disaster to find so that has been uh, the delay at the moment so hopefully next couple of weeks we'll have that ready and then we can start fixing the air fuel ratios on this um, also I changed the EGT sensor but as you can see it's made absolutely no difference basically these are uh, depot gauges and they um, they are flashing when there's a problem with the uh, sensor so I've changed out the sensor earlier today while I had everything off to do that uh, air conditioning hose I had to take the intake hose off so I had great access to that EGD sensor so I took that out unwired the old one from under the dash it was all a bit of a labor intensive and it was working the first time I I started the engine so I thought jobs are good and but now I'm driving the car a second time and uh, it's flashing again I checked the resistance on it on the sensor seemed okay uh, but obviously not um, the fact that it was working before leads me to believe this is a gauge problem I suppose what I would do as a, a professional diagnostic person would be to test the uh, resistance on the uh, sensor when it's hot just to check it is different from when it's cold I'm not going to be doing that today but I, I would do it I would have it fixed but generally I don't like these gauges they're a bit bloody they're a bit sensitive to the old uh, touch you know and they're a bit fiddly as well and they don't really feel that strong either and actually I think I'd just like to get rid of this um, I'm not happy with this it just gets in the way a little bit so I think uh, for the owner's point of view I think they'd appreciate that I'm not sure what I replace them with I'm quite tempted to put uh, some gauges here like those grady ones that you can see through but I obviously don't want to uh, drill the dash or anything but maybe there's a solution to put them here and that's not going to affect the eye line at all um, I'm also I've also got it logging uh, air fuel ratios because I want to see what it's doing between gear changes because I'm not sure if this dump valve is dumping to the air or if it's recirculating I should I, I suppose I should look on the instruction manual for that and uh, find out how it works or I might just put a camera there to see if it's opening or not that's gonna be a uh, part two anyway um, and I just got uh, and then I know I mentioned it probably in the last video change the boost hose on it and I tell you what only a small hole in it but what a massive difference to the way the car drives I don't know if it's if it's just can it just be that small hole that's made such a difference because before it would boost at very small throttle but now you've really got to get into it for it to start to boost up which I quite which I prefer to be honest with you anything that makes it easier to control like I'm quite pushing it quite far here but it's coming on you know, nice and gradually but I don't know it has made the car feel slower so I'm not sure if it actually is slower or not it just feels I've got to take it easy got the dog in the back but it just does feel like I only get full throttle 
when I really push the throttle to the mat. But I'll be honest with you, it does feel a bit freaking slower. It doesn't have that craziness that it had before. So maybe it was over boosting before and that's why it felt so fast. So I'll probably go back, have a look at the video, see what this air fuel ratio is doing just generally during driving. Maybe we can do a bit of analysis on that. Oh, this has bothered me now. And the only other thing, well, only other thing, touch wood, is the um, Climatronic. I put that AC hose in it. I put vacuum on it now today. So we'll see if it's uh, still holding that vacuum. See how much vacuum is in it tomorrow. Uh, and if it's if it's holding vac all right, then uh, we can get that refilled. And then the other next thing on the list, well, another thing on the list is to sort out the recirculating uh, thing here. That is flapping, going back and forth. It's a, apparently it's a common problem, but access is a bit of a nightmare. So we'll see how much of a nightmare it really is. One day I'll get into it. Uh, and that's it basically that's basically it guys that's just a, a very short pov just a, another update on the car just to have a quick show i would strive and probably didn't get much from it but you know it is what it is as always thanks for watching look after yourselves i'll see you again in the next video